Welcome to Tom Teaches YouTube. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a banner for your YouTube channel using a free software called Canva. So Canva's got a couple templates you can actually use if you just search YouTube channel art. I don't like using these because a lot of them are really pretty and really cool, but there's gonna be quite a bit of shifting around and resizing that you'll need to do in order for it to look appropriate. Because this is one that I found that I thought was really cool. It looks really good on a TV, but if someone came to your channel on the desktop version, that top part's not even there, and then it's even worse on the mobile version. So we wanna optimize so no matter where they go, it's gonna look great. So we're gonna optimize for mobile and we're gonna create our own custom one. You can edit it template and make the changes, upload it to YouTube, see how it looks, but I think it's cooler to make your own. So to get to this page after you've signed in, click on create a design and then click on custom dimensions. We are looking for the YouTube banner size dimensions, which is 2560 by 1440. So let's put 2560 by 1440 and then click outside of that and click create new design. We are going to need this little image as well. So you can either, if it's not showing up here, you can go to images after searching YouTube banner size, click on it, right click, save image as. I've got a little folder in here where I'm putting all my images. It's already saved there, but you can save it where you'll be able to get to it quickly. And you'll see a few different things and options of what you can put onto your canvas here. Let's go to uploads and actually upload that image. If I've already done it, so it's right there, but if it's not there, you click on upload image and then click on the sizing and click on open, and then it'll pop up right here. I'm gonna click on it. I'm gonna drag it to the corner here, let it line up and then I'm gonna drag this corner down here. So this is our safe zone. We want all the important information to be in this dark gray area. So let's go ahead and put the name of our channel, go to text. You can pick a text that you like. I like, I like this one, this dazzle one. And then right now it's not gonna look very good with the colors, but we can fix that in a little bit. We just need our, our positioning right. The first thing you wanna do is ungroup these because this is actually two separate titles. So go up here after you've clicked on the title or the text and click ungroup. They're both still selected right now, but then once you click off of it, uh, you'll be able to select each one, each one individually. So let's do Tom teaches YouTube. And I want it to be one long line. So you can see these little bars right here. Let me extend this out. If you don't see those bars, it's because they're still grouped. So you need to ungroup them. Let me drag this over and put that right there. Make sure it's nice and centered. Uh, you can use it as you move it. You'll see it creates these little center lines. Uh, and this little text and logo safe area, that's going to go away in a little bit. But my channel is uh, learn how to grow and create on YouTube. Again, I'm gonna extend it out a little bit, so it's one line, and then I wanna center it. I'm gonna put a little YouTube logo in the middle there. So I like that, it's taking up most of this space, so if someone saw it on the mobile, it would be okay. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna dim this just for a little bit before I actually delete it, just in case. If you click on the background and then click on this little transparency icon, you can go down a little bit just to see what it'll look like without it. So let me find the YouTube logo. I'm not deleting it yet, just in case I need to move stuff around a bit. Go to Elements, um, and I'm just gonna search YouTube. And what's cool is it's actually got a couple YouTube logos. I'm gonna go for the, one of the free ones. I don't wanna pay for one. Um, I like this one right here. It's gonna make it much larger than I need, so I'm gonna size it down a little bit, see if that fits well. Okay, centered up. Okay, that is good. So I think that's good. I don't think I'm gonna make this any large. I don't need to move it now that my icon's there. I'm gonna click on my sizing grid and then I'm gonna hit backspace. So now I've got just a blank background. I want something a little bit more interesting. So you can go to background and pick one of these. Um, I would go for something simple if you do, but if you wanna do an actual photo, I'm gonna show you a cool way to have the photo but still be able to read the text. Let me get rid of this YouTube, click on photos. I'm gonna say, actually I'm gonna keep YouTube. Let me see what, what photos come up for YouTube. I like this one right here because it's the actual YouTube website. Um, it covers up my text, but I'll, I'll get it behind there in a second. I'm gonna move it up to the corner and I'm gonna stretch it out. And it might, you might have to go past uh, the, the bottom there uh, and then drag it up a little bit depending on the, where the subject is in the photo. And let me move this behind the text. If I go up to position, it says backward, or I can do control left bracket. So I'm gonna hit backward, I'm gonna hit backward again, keep hitting it till it's behind everything. Okay, my text is not very visible right now, but I can change that. Let me go to elements again. 
Uh, but let me go to all and let me erase this YouTube part. And I'm going to go to shapes. I'm going to go to all shapes and I'm going to find a rectangle. This empty one is just a plain rectangle. And I am going to make this a black rectangle and you'll see why in just a second. And I'm going to stretch this out. Uh, use this middle one to stretch it across and then use this bottom one to stretch it down. And then I'm going to send this backward also backward, 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 backward. Okay. But not, I want it in front of the, the photo. So I'm going to go in front of forward in the photo. So I'm going to change the transparency for my black rectangle. I want to change the transparency and then I'm going to bring this down. Now this is starting to look better. I'm going to actually change the color of my text to white now. So let me double click and white. Okay. That looks much better and white. So the difference between having this and is you can actually now read the text. Uh, white works a little bit better with this black background and you can still see the picture. One thing you can do to add a little bit of depth, there's no shadow feature in Canva like there is in Photoshop, but if you select the text and say copy and create a, another one and just kind of layer it really close, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get pretty close. If you notice that it's kind of snapping to the grid more than you want, just hold control and you can be a little bit more fine with the movements. I am going to make this new copy black text, and then I am going to move it behind that text. So backward until it, there we go. So now you can see it's like a really subtle shadow and I can do the same thing to my image, copy it. These images, you can actually change the colors of too. So if I change the red to black and then I line it up, hold command to get more, more of a precise movement and then move it behind. It looks like it's got a little bit of a shadow. So I'm not going to do that to the bottom one. I'm just giving you an idea of what you can do in Canva. So I like how this looks. I'm going to click on this little download button right here and I'm going to hit download. It asked me where I want to save it. I'm going to say Canva banner in my little, where my other documents were. Go over to your YouTube channel. And when you're on your main channel, you can see that there's a little photo up there to change this banner, upload your new Canva, Canva banner, double click there and moment of truth. It looks good on all three. You can read it on all three. And then if you hit select, you've got your new YouTube banner. And that is how you can create a YouTube banner for your YouTube channel using Canva. If you'd like to stay in the loop with any upcoming videos on creating content for YouTube and growing on YouTube, then go ahead and subscribe. If this video was helpful, click the like button because it gives it more opportunity to show up in the results, the more likes it has, and hopefully will help other people as well. This is Tom Teaches YouTube, and hopefully I will see you in the next video.